All right, enough uh, fucking around. We're gonna talk about how Ku Fulin might become Odin. Now it's all gonna be JP, just because this dude fucking got all the fucking essay research paper. He gathered it in one place and fucking made an essay report on how Odin is Ku and Ku is Odin. All right, get ready. Now, please do understand the fact that this pretense and predates ever since from LB2 and onward. We had a sneaky suspicion from ever since the material one. Uh, we had a sneaky suspicion that Ku Caster could be Ku Odin, right? Ku equals Odin. Kind of theory kind of sets up. But, interesting part. Oh, actually, I can physically show you this on JP, uh, on NA. This one I can physically show you, which is pretty cool. Watch this shit. Um, is it material? It is. Uh, spirit origin list. Uh, add that one. Go to caster. Voice. Uh, summon. So, um, if you don't know, here we go. Let's compare the OG and non-OG. So if you don't know already, right, uh, turn off the fucking thing, will ya? So every servant, every servant will have their summer. Servant to answer. The Lancer Ku, when he summons, everybody will say their true class, right? Everybody will say their true form and what class it is. Everybody says their class, Lancer, Saber, except Ku Caster. Ku Caster's voice line specifically goes... Caster is the only one that doesn't say ser uh, servant class caster. He's one of the few people that legitimately just says, Oops, I guess this time I'm materialized as a caster. Oh, it's you guys. We met before, right? A, the fact that he remembers Fuyuki F. Even Arash can't remember fucking Fuyuki F. And even Arash can't remember the silver fragment. But for some odd reason, Ku himself is, um, you know, Ku himself, uh, Ku Caster himself realizes that we've met each other before. And simultaneously, if you haven't read one of his, um, if you haven't read one of Ku's or if not the materials, Nasu and Takeichi specifically says, um, is Ku Fulin a uh, caster in Singularity F, not Ku Fulin? It's just, uh, Nasu specifically says, please interpret it how you wish and please interpret it that way. It says the data collision occurred and Ku Fulin became a caster. It's like uh, Emia becoming Demia and looked fucking nasty. Or Artoria becoming a bad girl. And then Akechi, uh, yeah, Akechi, uh, not Akechi, fucking. Oh, yeah, it, I get you to be like, Emiya became uh, ugly. Don't say like that. I'll pity for him. Simultaneously, um, uh, right? So, the fact that the caster we met in Fuyuki might not have been ku hooting right it could not have been ku and technically it should have been solomon but 
the fifth, uh, you know, Fuyuki F, aka the fifth caster that's supposed to come into the Holy Grail War should have been Media. There were multiple special singularity data collision occurred, causing this problematic occurrence to create the foliage. And then he says the game that never ends. Uh, we don't know exactly this detail just yet, but it has to do with the mystery of the special singularity F. Also, final ascension art. Odin owns two wolves, right? We've, we've discussed this. Odin has two crows and two wolves. If you guys haven't already, no. Your boy Odin, he's got two crows and two fucking crows. Now, you want to go back to cool fucking, you know, caster. Your boy also has two dogs. And we've confirmed the existence of two crows in LB2. Okay. Uh, their name is Getty and Fureki. Also, that the fact that we saw one of the wolves in Satenta should ring you a bell. Uh, do whenever K and K event occurred, Kufuul and Caster specifically told himself this gag. It was a gag scene whenever you saw Ku Caster. Ku Caster says, "Where Ku?" I don't know who you guys are, but Kuhulin does not exist in this place. This is during the K and K event. It's a joke, but at the same time, this can be used to use as a interpretation that it could have been any coup, but they used coup caster out of all places. Also, in the material note, there is odin to uh yeah, odin the unsealing of the great god aka ohodo uh delgu odin meaning it is a hidden noble phantasm that allows the user aka caster castoria i mean uh, pff, caster castoria caster ku allowing him to use all 18 primordial U, uh, runes simultaneously. And essentially, it says it doesn't been used in FGO. But, it specifically at the bottom says, it, it might be only exclusive use in, uh, exclusive usage to Odin. But, the details would be mysterious for now. And simultaneously, apparently the NA version has made it ca uh, yeah, canonicalize this event. The fact that the NA translation of Ku's craft essence of the bond, aka bond craft essence, is called Yugudora Seal's Tree. And the tree of Yugudora Shiru is a north cosmonology of an essential sacred world right immense and sacred tree around exists all around including the nine worlds yugudara shiro is attested 13th century da 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 yugudara is an immense ash tree that is a center of the cosmos considered very holy the gods of gods go to yugudara shiro daily to assemble their tradition of government assembly And then at the same time, Yugudora Shiru wa Akiteru Okiru Sekaiju Dearu. It is a, you know, like, Sea of uh, Yugudora Shiru is essentially an interesting thing. It cre it's, it's the tree that binds nine realms. Also, it's also the Odin's horse, right? And uh, Yugudora Shiru is Tori e Diko. Uh, and if you guys don't know what Tori e Diko is, a, it should be a plant. Yeah, it should be a plant. I don't know what that shit is in English.
、トマニイルキ、トニネルキでやがてした。日本から想像を下げて、ついにはビゲートそれそれ植えてることもある。試合を取りに行くとし、そう、やらず、しょうゆがいす。Yeah, so they look like these. Toriye Kiko. That's kind of what they are. I think the, these guys are a prettier version. So notice these flowers and remember them well. We're going to go back to that. And then, yeah, the fact that the American translation version specifically stated that it was the. Three of Yugudora Shiru,、um, it got much more suspicious. Because technically, the、um, it said the holy forest tree and not the tree of Yugudora Shiru, right? It didn't say the seed of、uh, whatchamacallit, Yugudora,、uh, Yugudora Zil until the NA translation canonicalized it. Also, if you go to、uh, yeah, if you go to a node, there is Ku. In the Lost Belt 2, there is a node with a caster where caster Ku just nonchalantly is there. It's very suspicious. Simultaneously, whenever you do your special Singularity AF Memorial quest, he is the Only servant to date that does not have an official name and then considered as caster. It says, yeah, even especially at Memorial Quest, only caster Ku is called caster and not by his real name. Very suspicious. Also, you guys will also learn this in Valentine's Day. I don't know if you guys will hear this. I don't know if I have him in Valentine's Day. Uh, ascension, victory, incapacitated, damage. Yeah, I don't think I got him Valentine. Oh, well, actually, hold up. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. Damn! I wish the fucking servant's record were. Uh, easier to organize. Shadow.、Uh, summon Ascension 3. Yeah, I gotta go.、Uh, I gotta go Event Quest.、Uh, event Quest Log.、Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, Valentine's Day.、Uh, chocolates.、Uh, not chocolates. Return gift. Turn gifts and go to Ku. <gasps> Did I not do Ku Caster? You gotta be butt fucking shit. Oh, there he is. It's called Druid Staff. And he goes. Everybody's been going back and forth to the cafeteria. How many times do they need to go until they're satisfied? Guess today's one of those days where it doesn't matter if you're a heroic spirit or a human. It's good that everybody is friendly. It may be peaceful now, but the irregularities with the humanity still haven't been resolved. Whether it be incineration of humanity or fixing things afterward, huh? Yo, Protag, you're handing out chacos too. The fact that he says this, this was mentioned before Lost Belt 1, by the way. This whole line that says whether it be incineration of humanity or fixing things afterward. To be honest, I've gotten a little wiser. I'm having trouble getting into it. And have some chocolates, bitch. You're not making any sense. I see you're. Oh, yeah, you're the one who's the most excited. Am I unhappy, you ask? Well, you know, if it was Halloween, maybe, but I'm really not the sort to get excited over countries and festivities. Not. Now, understand this too. The fact that he says Halloween here 
is very important. We'll come back to it too. Because he means, he specifically means that he's not going to get excited unless it was Halloween. And guess what? In JP event, we just got a canonicalization of Elizabeth waking up in spring saying that this year is going to be all day Halloween event. I can't complain about the game I've been given. It's even more immature. Well, immature doesn't mean that I'm going against the flow. I'm just saying that if something makes you happy, show it. So besides, this druid get up may be sham anyway. There's no point in maintaining tough stance. Wait, any other. Tough stance, uh, maintaining distance at this point. Thanks, Protag. I'll savor this bit by bit. I'll return a favor sometime soon. I'll take you to a special place. First step is procure a staff. That trail is a tough one to the inexperienced. I guess I better look for a good ash tree, AKA Yugudorashiru as well. I better show some caster-like quality once in a while. So, that shit itself is already a warning sign, right? During Valentine's Day, he specifically says incineration of humanity and things afterwards. This was told way before. Yeah, this was way before anything. Yeah, this was told way before season one ended. Also, he said that he won't get excited unless it's Halloween. AKA Elizabeth Bathory specifically stating in the Ushi event, we're going to have Halloween every week uh, every uh season of the day uh spring summer uh autumn winter all halloween all the seasonal event will be turned into a yeah all the season uh, yeah don't uh jason says don't change seasonal events to some weird fucking irregularity Becky says if it's elizabeth oh uh, yeah lord elizabeth she'll definitely pull it off Simultaneously, she says, at this current moment, with the Halloween power I have acquired, it's not enough. But remember this little dearlet, this autumn, uh, yeah, will surpass all Elizabeth. This Halloween is going to be the special one yet to date. And then, yeah, ever since the Kamakura event with Elizabeth already showing up, they, she specifically stated that all the entire holidays or season will be Halloween. Meaning that this year might be the year where Caster Ku would show his true form. Yeah, Halloween is a revival gag, but at the same time, a statement for those people. And if you guys don't know, we are in the era three, right? Shut the fuck up, you GW. Uh, it says here, Showa 3 and Dorinate Haroni of Skarstan wa Sandome no Chusho Mukaita Mono ni Taisur ni Tade Ari, Honen no Haroni wa Rokuroku ni Taisur ni Somo Aruno wa Kode Wariai. So this also says, um, this is the third year of Rewa. This is the third year of um, the New Year's, right, of Japan, quote unquote. And Halloween revival memes are, you know, on the third day, simultaneously, uh, it might collide or have similarities with 666, but we're going to leave it there, right? It says, that's enough for now. Simultaneously, if you look at 2019 Valentine's Day, aka if you go to Murasaki's Valentine's Day, which NA is going to experience, Caster's description specifically says, let us, yeah, as a caster, I should read some books. And what book does he read? He reads the beautiful mountains of the Nordic European side. And if you guys don't know, Arcade did a specific um, theme, right? Specific theme like, um, background for their cards and lord and behold 
fucking cool casters uh you know flower theme was tori neko e uh to yeah tone uh tone neko aka the seed uh that defies what do they define again Uh, maybe it's this one. Maybe it is. Nice. Yeah, it's Flaxinus. Flaxinus is a 40 to 65 species, usually medium and large trees. Across Europe, Asia, and North America, leaves are in the opposite and the most penury around. Uh, most flax species are what? Which age? Change sexual functions. Uh, yeah, rodents and mountains of so. Tree is English. Yeah, the common English name for this name is Ash. Trace back to the Old English age where Proto-Indian European for a tree, while generic name for the Latin was called Bur- Oh yeah, it was a birch. Both words also mean the spear in their respective languages as wood is good for shafts. Uh... Da -da 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 uh, the, the ash is a hard wood used to, you know, bowls, tool handles, baseball bats, etc., etc. Mythology and folklore in Greek mythology. <gasps> wow! Melie was are nymphs associated with the ash, perhaps specifically uh, with the mana. Anana ash and dryads are nymphs associated with the oak. In North mythology, it's made as Yugudora Siru, aka the steed slash gallows of Odin. Water by three magical springs serves as axis, sustaining the nine worlds of the cosmos and the roots of the branches. Ah, see? Now we're getting somewhere, huh? As you can see, Tori Eko is a compound subject of Yugudora Seed. Also, Sigurd in the material, uh, yeah, in the Sigurd's material in one of the FGO material book, Sigurd specifically looks at Kucaster and this is his reaction. Says, so you're Sir Ku Fulin, huh? And simultaneously, remember the part that I said it was Ku's interlude? I lied. It was Shisho's new interlude. In the Shisho's new interlude, um, it specifically states that Ku Lancer, aka the form we have currently, yeah, in the form currently, he's not in his full self. He's not in his prime. He's half of who he is. It says, um, Mash says, oh, I believe you. Yeah, I believe there was a caster form. It says the fact that you have a different form, maybe your strength or your Saint Graf uh, magnitude has split off. And Ku Lancer himself, it says, what the hell? There's a caster me around this world that's fucked up. Because the Lancer crew does not know the existence of... I mean, Lancer crew doesn't know Caster crew's existence. Even though he says he maybe could be one, he never recollected he could have been one, right? So that itself was very interesting. Against uh, MASH, da -da 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 -da, uh, says, yeah, since you have multiple class and split into it, maybe your strength has happened. Uh, and it says Ku. Uh, yeah. And besides Ku, that's like the only crazy thing that could occur. There is a possibility that Ku Caster may have sustained himself with the properties of Odin mixed into it. Just like the Kamakura event where Yoshimitsu and Kagekiyo are mixed in and fusionized, there is a possibility that Odin, the spirit of Odin, has intertwined and fused with the caster coup in order to keep its Saint Graf stability. 
And another, you know, fucking thing is that said that opening wise, hey, he was at C, you know, he was at second opening. Uh, he'll probably arrive at LB6 and most likely LB6 will be a Celtic, a yeah, Celtic focus action with another more. あ、特定がさいしょ曲点に来ていない。また、あ、昨日はこれを隠れてアカウントをしたら、あ、そう忘れた頃にやってくると問いとしていた頃、特定の謎は変わるのは明らか。So yeah, they're talking about how one day um he Loki accidentally spilled the beans that he forgot special singularity F was a thing during Solomon. And he tweeted about it, and he were actually dropping spoilers slash like um, hints, right? Spoilers slash hints in his Twitter accounts. It does specifically says that that Twitter account is now gone. But lately, there has been yeah, there has been another account of uh, Nasu roaming about. It says yeah, it's at the Great Pirate Age where uh, we're going to find Kinoko's uh, Twitter once again. Anyway, this is um, material list pulled from Setenta, AKA the Saber Coup. Saber Coup's description specifically does not match the Gay Bold or the Kufulin and Lancer's description whatsoever. Setenta AKA the Saber Swordsman, one of the attribute that says the training of the land of the shadow. It says in the land of the shadow, the queen herself, Skasaha, uh, yeah, trained Setenta both mentally and physically in order to complete a heroic spirit that was invincible called Kuhuring. This Saint Graph is currently uh, yeah, currently in training. Uh, secretly, it's technically right before the end of the training. Uh, yeah, since the mental and the physical body... Yeah, since the medic, me, uh, physical and mental body has its suit, this skill has been attributed. It says, unlike the real true hero of Kuhuing, excuse me. Uh, yeah. If the real Ku were to be materialized, you would not get the skill and the noble phantasm will be called Gay Bold. It says that the fact that Kuhuling does not have Gay Bold あ、いや、つまり限界した空風林が本質のスキルを必要にない上にゲイボルクを持っていないという状態は本格的にあまりないことである。It uh, is a very rare occasion that the fact that the servant hero, you know, heroic spirit Kuhuring to not have the attribute or the skill set of gay bold and uh yeah, have the skill whatsoever, meaning that the arcade itself is saying that it's weird that this thing happened. Because Setenta has the attribute of the shadow, uh, yeah, the land of the shadow training, but this was summoned during his training days. If the training is over, the skill would not be this, but called Noble Phantasm Gay Bold. So it just canonicalized saying that it's very impossible for Ku to not have Gable, right? It's very unlikely that for Ku to materialize as Setenta, not getting Gable. And if you look at Ryo's art, like I've told you before, every Ku's nose is round except Caster Ku. It's almost as if it's someone else. Simultaneously, um, yeah, a very getting smart or being more intelligent than ever before. If you don't know, Odin lost one of its eyes in order to obtain knowledge. 
Simultaneously, Caster Koo is most of the time standing up wearing a hoodie. And Rio's picture shows that you can't really see the left, uh, right side of the eye perfectly, even though there is an eye. eye yeah, even though there is a supposed eye there. Why is Ku equal? Yeah, why is Ku caster equals Odin? Because the primordial runes is the use of Odin, right? And then during Lost Bell 2, uh, Da Vinci specifically says, oh my god, he's using the primordial runes. And the primordial runes is a, uh, yeah, magic, uh, magic circumstances that was made by the god, uh, ages of the gods, Odin himself. And if you look at the craft essence, the craft essence of, uh, what the fuck was it? Three star Lancer one? Uh, or the damage against Ryder, I guess. Because I think that one is... Uh, Ruins Tecta. Was it MP? Was it MP chat? I forgot. Uh... Put that shit in English, will ya? Uh, I like how you type in this, right? And it specifically goes, um, gay bold. Let's see. It's not telling me the fucking NA's name. What's the NA craft essence name for this shit? Do I have it in my inventory? Yeah. Let me check that shit real quick, will you? Um, aha! I found it. It's called the Lunghouse Halo. Right. Lug Howe's Halo, if you guys already don't know Lug Howe, um, yeah, if you look at Lug Howe, it is a sun god, and sun god of Lug Howe, it is named as Lug Hu, and Lug Hu is another name for an Irish mythology god, uh, that kind of has a, you know, he possesses a skill with a spear or his ability as a ruler, aka fucking Odin S. It says yeah, he's foster father, sea of God. Lugun's son is the hero Ku, who believes to be incarnation of Ku. Who gets several magical possession, wields the unstoppable spear, slingstone, and owns a hound named Thalius, said to have invented Fidisol, ball game horse racing. Celtic pan gods, Lugu is a Welsh counterpart of that. He's also equated to Mercury as well as Apollo. So this itself already should associate with the craft essence. And the craft essence specifically says, boom, Lugu's halo, a wheel of sunlight sent by the god of light, Lugu. It instantly dried up the bottomless swamp in the land of the shadows and left a path made of fire, which allowed the passage for child of light. And Ku is the child of light. You did not know already. And simultaneously, in uh, Roman Empire, right? Uh, Caesar would call the uh, Medicurius. If you don't know what Medicurius, um, essentially it's Mercury. In, yeah, in Greek mythology, I mean, Roman mythology, it's Mercury. The major god of the Roman religion, one of the 12 ancient pathons. He's a god of financial gain, comrades, message, communication, traveling, boundaries, luck, trickery, and thieves. He also serves the guise of the soul of the underworld. He was considered a mania, one of the seven daughters of the Titans. 
in his earlier form he appeared to be a deity both god sharing characteristic greek god Hermes. he's often depicted holding a uh Cadius in his left hand uh he was a magic awarded a magic wand by apollo which later turned into a Cadius, the uh, staff intertwined snake like Hermes, mercury was also a god of message eloquent traits of particular gain uh da, 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 da. uh yeah proto induin boundary of borders greek ordinos of mark keeping the boundaries referring to role to bridge between upper and the lower world now don't take this roman religion to date right just take the concept of it itself and there is a example where medikuriasu is another name for technicality of odin in different uh interpretation so lu equals merukurusu which equals odin and this would also make sense that during the event of um you know during the event of let's go back to kamakura a specific servant gets played nonchalantly because if you guys don't remember the first two servants that we meet are fucking caesar where's caesar caesar and fergus and caesar and fergus are both one roman one celtic this event is starting to tell a story of how lb6 is going to portray things as and anything related to roman slash greek it has already happened before so this is already a big red sign. Also, if you read the uh, Fate Stay Night Archer, Archer specifically says that surprising the fact that you would pierce through Iris, a weapon of Lance that can even pierce the shield of Iris. I see you yeah you aka blue spearman that wep oh yeah that spear that you hold is over even overpowering the original gun guniru and if you guys don't know gun year it is the spear of odin this is where uh yeah this is where uh emia lose uh emia gets shot by uh lancer uh, yeah, Gable's original name was Gunieru in the first place in Fate Stay Night. Uh, yeah, Archer versus Lance, uh, Lancer versus Archer, Gable, uh, yeah. Archer got hit by the Gable, tried to protect itself with the Iris, but even with the Iris, uh, he, it goes through. MES specifically depicts that you, your, what you're holding in your hand goes even beyond the power of the original Gunier. And this could definitely, yeah, this could definitely tell that Gabe Bold was meant to be an original gun year in the story of fate. Also, we did talk about Ku getting pissed off. I shouldn't talk about too much here. Uh, yeah, we shouldn't talk too much here because we already discussed about it yesterday. But essentially, Odin's term is a maddened person, right? Crazy out of this world person or someone that has been very angry that's kind of like the origin term of odin uh and simultaneously odin uh you know in the beginning odin is nothing more than a north mythology uh no nordic mythology god and he is also the god of storm he is a god that knows intelligence, death, and war, and magic. He would drink the Mimiru of the Yugudora Shiru's roots, obtained knowledge, but in order to obtain knowledge, he lost one of his eyes. In order to obtain rune capabilities, he stabs himself with Gunieru, and he also hung himself in the Seed of uh, he also hung himself in the tree of Yugudurashir in order to obtain the knowledge. 
uh he also used a eight-legged horse aka slay puniru uh slay puniru and fuging and mooning and two other crows would be released into the world in order to obtain every information it says uh yeah simultaneously every uh, yeah, every time you would see him most of the time you would see a Getty and fureki the two wolves by his side now i'm gonna tell you this you should already know by now because you've seen it in the fgo game but caster coup for the longest time have two wolves by his side always Uh, I said he would use a black robe. Uh, yeah, uh, he would use black robe, disguise himself as an old man. Uh, a lot of times that gets depicted. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Valhalla, Valkyrie, it's Mesocitus, I should take a Ragnarok, the Loki no Kodomo Fendin, to you, uh, yeah, Kodomo no Fendiru, to you, uh, Okami ni Kuareru. Amari Shirate nai hanashi da ga, Fendiru wa Sarben to shite tojo shiteiru. あ、エクストララストアンコールドラマシリーでミサオが召喚したサーベントはライダーライダーバラガンドであるライダー。I see. So, yeah, apparently um yeah, you know how Odin does. You know, talks about his legends, Valhalla warriors, talks about Valkyries to collect their souls. Uh, in the end, during Ragnarok, the Loki son, Finnir, a wolf, would eat his hearts alive. If you guys didn't know, Finnir actually came as a servant. Because apparently, Fate Extra Last Encore Drama CD depicts that Misao actually summons a servant, Ryder, Vanangardo, which is the Finnir. It is Vanangardo is another name for Finnir. Uh very interesting note. The recent eight or uh, yeah, the eight great Orochis, aka the fucking Vitrias, uh Raiko, Raiten, Indra, um Ibaraki uh, Ibuki. A lot of the tales that says that the god of storm and eight heads have a lot of stories in common. But So yeah, it says that the fact that this can be correlated as god of storm and eight-legged serpents or uh uh it can be derivative, right? It can tie itself as a um God of Storm and Eight-Legged Serpents or Eight-Legged Horse. Uh, it says this one has been interpreted from the notes. Um, at the moment, still discussing it with others on Twitter. Simultaneously, the Tight Moon Odin. The reason why uh, OG Brahilda went out of control and went insane because Lancer Brahilda, the true reason why Lancer Brahilda is berserk is because she is the daughter of Odin and because of that she returned most of the function. Uh, uh, yeah, so essentially Brihilda gone insane because it's the Odin's of Sun, got all the capability functioned back at her and says, you, you, it's that little girl, it's the world would shatter, it's, yeah, it's menacing that the fact that the world would shatter.
Uh, this uh, has a 666 shadow into it, a lot of LV6, meaning that Odin might show. That Odin might show to explain what's going on. Also, during the. Uh, I think it was Santa Royale. I think it was during Nightingale Santa. Um, there was a talk about Safar and talking about how Valkyries and Safar and Sata Atarante Santa have now been related. Zafar, so uh, yeah, talking about Zafar, aka Zapar in English, you can learn about it uh, from Extella. To TLDR, um, Valkyries and others were being constructed, and Ataranta Santa says a very far star, a gigantic something that comes from the horizon. I don't know what happened if the Nordic great god existed during that time. Maybe, perhaps, maybe it might be true. If you guys were born, aka Valkyries, and if that is the interpretation I must get, then that means your existence is similar to I, therefore you are my sisters. Meaning that Artella and Brihilda is, you know, in the same family. And also at the same time, look, LB2, we saw two birds flying right above us. And Skasa Skadi says that's the great Odin's uh, birds, a.k.a. Uh, crows, um, watching over us. And LB2 crows are the guidance of Odin, and we technically kind of followed the birds' guidance in LB2 to a decent, uh, yeah, decent degree. And then they're talking about how um, during 2004, there was a story about how he was, his original manga name was Valkyria. There's a name series and it was about Nordic legends, Valkyries and main theme all about it. Scenario was Kinoko originalized and everything was done. Uh, other than that, there's a t uh, tabletop RPG of steel, uh, the steel fragments. And inside there was a demonic blade uh, the Sun Blade of Guramu and other cool Nordic God based uh, terminology being added to that sword. It says, yeah, this is just. Um, so yeah, if we were to actually read the Valkyria tabletop original story, we might be able to solve the mystery, but he can't find it. It says apparently in this story involves a Shishio, uh, the fucking Gunnetzo, and fucking Counterforce and uh, Burdistado. There are many terminologies. In TLDR, there is most likely a possibility that Caster Ku will consider himself as Odin, if not, will reveal the existence of Odin. Yeah, it says we're most likely we're getting Odin very soon. It's going to be around maybe LB6. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And then he references everything of how it could be possible. This man is fucking insane. But I agree with him 1,500%. This dude practically gave us all the hints we needed in order for you to get Odin and FGO near you. So get hype. You mean the Itis Itis? Yes, the shield of the fucking Sakuras. 